It's your guy Insomniac, and it is time to talk famous watches. So literally about a year ago to the month was the first episode of Famous Watches. I'm not going to put out one episode a year. I kind of just wasn't really sure about the segment, but I figured obviously one episode wasn't a fair shake, so let's keep it going for a little bit. Every episode is going to highlight one specific watch. That one specific watch will have been something that was either worn in a particular role that was famous, or by a specific famous person, or had a significant role in something historic. The watch won't always necessarily be a famous watch though. If you go back and watch episode number one and kind of similar with this episode that you're going to see here, they're not watches that are super well known. And no, I'm not going to be doing any gaudy, iced out, ridiculous watches. And before you start thinking rapper watches, take a look at one of John Mayer's Rainbow Diamond Daytonas. I believe that one's a Daytona. Um, yeah, you're probably never gonna see one of those watches on this channel no matter how famous it is By the way, you might notice that I'm trying to keep my left hand out of view for the most part and that I didn't do a wristwatch check Which most people do on watch YouTube channels. That's because I'm wearing a watch right now, which Suspense alert. I'm actually not allowed to show you not allowed to post pictures of not allowed to even tell you what brand it is The brand kind of swore me to secrecy. I think the last day of the month is when I'm going to actually post a review on it That's when I'm allowed to show everybody what it is, but I cannot do that until then So there's something to kind of look forward to I guess last day of July You get to know what I was wearing in this video and obviously see a review on that watch brand new piece Anyway today we're talking John Wick and as of the time of this video, 4 isn't out yet, but uh, John Wick 1, 2, and 3, or chapters 1, 2, and 3 are out. And this watch is actually in all three of those movies, worn by Keanu Reeves, obviously the star of John Wick. If you haven't seen John Wick, I mean, make sure you do that. All of them. All three of these movies take place in modern times. I bring this up because obviously I want to point out whether or not the watch is kind of period correct for the time that the movie was supposed to be set in. These movies were from 2014, 2017, and 2019, respectively, and the movies take place in modern times. The watch is the Monero Auto Date by... There you go, I'm just going to put the brand on screen. I do not want to butcher this person's name. Carl F. Whatever that last name is right there. According to what I could find online, this watch was released in 2011. The movement is a caliber CFB 1965. It's an automatic self-winding 25 joule movement with 42 hours of power reserve. The watch size is something that I really like and some kind of watch geeks will really be into. It's actually 38 millimeters which by modern standards is fairly small, but it's really a sweet spot kind of size uh, for a lot of watch enthusiasts. And as of the time of this video, it is a regular production piece, which is still available uh, both on the manufacturer's website and on other reputable online sites that I've seen. So what does this watch cost if you want to actually pick up a John Wick watch? It's about $2,000. It's listed a little bit higher than that on the manufacturer website, but I saw it on sale for about $2,000 on one reputable site. So did John Wick specifically increase the popularity of this particular piece? The answer in my opinion is yes and no, but I'm leaning more towards yes. I'll start with the no. Obviously, I'm a watch lover. I wouldn't have a watch channel on YouTube if I wasn't. And I'm a huge fan of the John Wick series, and I knew he was wearing a watch, but I didn't know what one. And honestly, up until doing research for this video, this brand wasn't even on my radar. And we're not even talking about one movie, we're talking about a very popular series of three movies at this point with this same watch in it. If these movies had a significant impact on the sales of this watch from a small brand like this, I don't think they would be available uh, right now for purchase, especially not literally the exact one that he wears in the movie, which is available. But on the yes side of the argument, one of the main things I noticed when I was doing searches for the Monero Auto Date is that basically no matter where you put in Monero Auto Date in a search engine, you're basically not going to find a full page of search results that don't somewhere mention John Wick or Keanu Reeves. And obviously that's a huge appearance boost for the watch as well as the brand as a whole. So if the movie had no impact on it whatsoever, I don't think you'd see Keanu Reeves and or John Wick pop up every time you search for Monero Auto Date. And of course, part of the reason why these movies might not have had too significant 
of an effect on this watch's sales or popularity is because of the watch's role in the movie, which is almost nothing. And of course, what doesn't help here is that Keanu Reeves actually wears the watch upside, well, what I consider upside down with the dial on the inside of his wrist the entire time. So short of some of the examples that I'm sure you've already seen cycling on screen here next to me, uh, you don't really see the watch too often in this movie. What you got more than dial shots were shots of a black leather watch strap. But really the overall answer to the question of whether or not these movies actually played a significant role in making this watch more popular really comes down to your definition of significantly. Did these movies increase the popularity of this piece to the level of waiting lists and crazy demand? No. But did it put this watch and this brand on a lot of people's radar who have never heard of it before? Yes. And I'm proof of that. And that's pretty cool. So again, it kind of just depends on what degree of significance we're talking about here. Okay, so that's what John Wick was wearing in those three movies. We'll see if he wears it again in four. I'm sure he'll partner with them, even if he's not wearing the Monero Auto Date, might be a different model, but either way, that's pretty cool. And I was curious as to what he was wearing uh, in these movies, because I am definitely a John Wick fan. If you didn't know what watch Keanu Reeves was wearing in those movies and you learned something in this video, leave some comments. Even if you didn't, leave some comments. Also, if you have suggestions for other Famous Watch videos, feel free to leave some suggestions down in the comments. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Sorry for not lifting my left hand up far enough for you to see this watch. Like I said, I'm not allowed to. In fact, I should have changed it. It was actually very uncomfortable to not be able to gesture with my other hand for the sake of trying not to get this watch on camera. But anyway, a lot more watch reviews and some famous watches and other fun stuff coming up very soon. So make sure you subscribe, hit the thumbs up, all that crap that YouTubers say all the time. Do all of that stuff because I appreciate it and I'll see you all next time.